Happy Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve, or All Saints' Eve. We all know that October 31st is the one day a year that makes it socially acceptable to dress up in costumes and accept candy from complete strangers. But why? To journey back to where it all started, we're going to have to take a look at the ancient Celtic calendar. Back in the day, and I mean way back in the day, the Celtic calendar was split into two halves, the dark half and the light half. Every year on November 1st, a day officially known as Samhain, people would celebrate the beginning of the dark half of the year by hosting a festival. Many believe that during Samhain, ancient ghosts were particularly active as the boundaries between the living and the dead disappeared. Spooky. With ghosts gallivanting everywhere and winter quickly approaching, settlers left various assortments of food and drink at their doorstep, hoping to keep the ghosts from destroying their crops. It wasn't until the 1500s that the festival included the acts of mumming and guising, two of the earliest forms of trick-or-treating. This involved people of all ages dressing up and going door-to-door -door singing and dancing in exchange for goods like food and wine. By donating goods to those in need, it was rumoured that good luck would come your way. However, if you failed to appease the ghosts, misfortune would follow you for the remainder of the year. But why bother dressing up? Some believe that by dressing up in disguise, they were accepting the gifts on behalf of the dead, while others thought of it as a way to blend in and protect themselves from the ghosts that occupied the town. But the name Halloween itself actually comes from the Christian holiday All Saints' Day, which goes by the name of All Hallows' Day, which also falls on November 1st, which is essentially the English version of Samhain, which is the day before All Souls' Day. I know, it's a little complicated, but just hang with me here. The word Halloween officially means a holy evening, or in this case, the night before All Hallows' Eve, October 31st. The name was later shortened to Halloween for simplicity's sake. In following the tradition of their Celtic neighbours, Europeans also created their own form of guising, known as souling, to be practised on All Souls' Day. While souling, children would go house to house gathering simple pastries known as soul cakes in exchange for praying for the dead. If this sounds a bit more like the Halloween you're used to, it's because you're not far off. The celebration of Halloween, as we know it today, arrived in the 1800s through a surge of Irish and Scottish immigration. What originally began in small migrant communities as a way to maintain culture, gradually grew as a celebration throughout the US, eventually coming to the mainstream in the 1930s. As of this year, the average American is expected to spend $74 on decorations, candy and costumes. Multiply that number by the amount of people within the states, and the US is expected to spend $6.9 billion on Halloween in 2016. With numbers like that, it's no surprise many retail stores start flooding their shelves with candy and costumes as early as August. With haunted houses to explore and pumpkins to be carved, there's a little something for everyone during the Halloween season. And for a holiday that started as an excuse to get angry over the end of warm weather, Halloween is sure come a long way.